Hi, welcome to Spiritual Connection. I'm Katie Augustine, your host. So I'm a shamanic practitioner, I'm an energy healer, and I'm a transformation coach. And you know, I'm all about connection. It's really one of my core values. And that's why I wanted to start this show, Spiritual Connection, so we could connect with each other as well as connect more fully with our own spiritual selves. So I'm happy you're joining us tonight. Um, I do interview different people from the community about their spiritual journey, what they're up to, the services they offer, and it's really to help you either start your spiritual journey or continue it, either way. So we're happy to have you. Um, so my guest tonight is Kristen Raza. Welcome to the show, Kristen. Thank you, Katie. Glad to have you with us. So I recently met Kristen, and so I'm anxious to learn more about her. But what she's told me so far is that she is an entrepreneur, a speaker, a blogger, an essential oil educator, and a fitness instructor. My goodness. <laughs> is there anything oh you don't God. do, Kristen? <laughs> yeah. And she has a business, um, and she's, she helps her clients really, what she says, is feel radiant in their bodies and in their businesses. So that's a great combination. Sounds really intriguing. And we're going to hear a lot about that. But you know, the first thing I, I'm curious about is how did you get started on your spiritual journey? What was that like? My spiritual journey? Well, I would say that that really starts in the beginning. I mean, I was mm -hmm. um, raised in the Catholic Church, and so that's one aspect of the spiritual mm -hmm. journey. But um, over the years, with a variety of experiences and um, just generally life experiences that I've had, it really has brought that spiritual journey in, into a much more um, deeper um, mm. and um, more complex mm. um, experience beyond just going to church. Yeah, more personal. Yeah, you know, definitely it's interesting. more personal. I was also raised in the Catholic Church, and it, it, it's different now with, you know, the way I look at it in mm. terms of, like, I feel like I have a relationship, you know, right. with spirit. Mm -hmm. So it, it is, I kind of relate to what yeah. you're saying. There's what you do when you're, you know, go to a church or pray, mm -hmm. but then there's mm -hmm. also how you show up in the world. And I think that that's really the most important part about it, what you yeah. bring each day and how you can shine your light every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, that sounds, that sounds really um, right on. So tell us then, how did you get started in your business that you have now? And like, what did you do before that? I want to hear everything. <laughs> well, I've done a few different, okay. I've had a few different lives. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I, w I actually started in the corporate world. Okay. So I spent about 15 years uh, in the corporate world. And uh, my focus there was originally human resources. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, leadership and development. So I was in the training and development field um, doing leadership coaching and mm. developing leadership curriculum mm -hmm. for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And um, I also throughout that time had a side business teaching jazzercise. I started, oh. um, purchased a jazzercise franchise in 1990. Um, so I ran that for quite a long time, and uh, in 2002, I was laid off from my corporate job. Uh, so I had this other side gig to fall back on a little mm -hmm. bit, mm -hmm. and I think um, one thing that really uh, is part of our spiritual path is doing the things that you're really passionate about. Mm. And I was very passionate about that business. That was my fun job. Mm -hmm. And so I decided after the corporate layoff to try to make a go as an entrepreneur because that was something that really kind of was called to me and I mm -hmm. wanted to have mm -hmm. more uh, flexibility and control of my own schedule and really work for my vision mm -hmm. rather than a company's yeah. vision. And I had always loved um, the corporate jobs that I had. I really did enjoy them also, but I had mm -hmm. a different calling that I wanted to do something, um, create something really. Yeah. So yeah. I started uh, doing that full time in 2002. So I had that, that business for a very long time. Oh, wow. Do you still have it? <laughs> 
Um, I don't. I retired as an owner of Jazzercise in 2013 after uh, 25 years of oh, doing yeah. that. But I do still teach classes. I, I, I sold the business and I still go down I there see. and sub. In fact, I taught a class this morning. So mm -hmm. a couple of times um, a month I'll go and, and teach. But it's just um, really a fun outlet for me now. It's not you know, it's part of my business. business. It's not my business anymore. I see. Yeah. Where, where is the location? It's in Stanford. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Jazzercise is all over the country, all yeah. over the world, actually, so you can find it anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you still are involved and active. Um, you said you work with clients on mm -hmm. exercise. So what, what does that look like? Um, well, that's mainly through the Jazzercise. Okay. Okay. Um, but I'm also a MELT method practitioner. Oh. And so the MELT method is a self-treatment technique that helps people um, become more upright, balanced, and stable in their bodies. Mm. Um, it's very commonly used for people with chronic pain. But it's also used for um, improving athletic performance. So a lot of pro athletes, a lot of Olympians will use that technique. So I work with clients helping them with that too. Oh, okay. So you're like a coach in that, in that method. Yes. Yep. What is it? Um, how do you spell it? M-E-L-T. Melt. Oh, melt. melt. Okay. I wasn't mm -hmm. sure it was melt or melt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> melt. It sounds familiar, but mm -hmm. I don't really know that much about it. Yeah. It's not, you know, something that a lot of people have heard of, but it's really mm -hmm. gaining in popularity because the, um, the, connective tissue system of the body is really becoming a very important area of study. It used to just be bones, organs mm. um, that people were interested in mm -hmm. and muscles and now the connective tissue system in the last particularly about 15 years has become an important area of study. Yeah, well, it's what holds us all together. Exactly. So it kind of makes exactly. sense, doesn't it? Yeah. And, yeah, and from a spirituality standpoint, mm -hmm. I always talk to my clients and tell them our issues are in our tissues. So any yeah. emotional thing that we have that we're holding on to, any mm -hmm. traumatic experiences, we're holding them in our physical body, mm -hmm. um, even though they may have a, uh, an emotional or spiritual source. Yeah, no, that's true, and that's yeah. what you know. Energy healers work with Absolutely. that. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's all it's all energy. Everything's yeah, energy. energy. <laughs> Everything's energy. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. all it's yeah, it's all helpful for sure. Um, so you were telling me a minute ago that you used to have a radio program. What was yes. that? What was that mm -hmm. about? Um, it was a station called FTNS, which was a fitness. Uh, station. So ah. there were um, 30 different shows on air, uh, all different aspects of fitness. And um, I had a show that was geared to women that um, when I first met, the, I was asked to be a guest on one of the shows there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of their shows were very hardcore, heavy weightlifting type of uh, shows geared to men. And I said, you don't have anything on here for your average woman who just wants to like stay in shape and you mm -hmm. need a show like that yeah. <laughs> and so they said we we'd love for you to host a show like that so oh, of course um, <laughs> as soon as you come up with yeah. the idea <laughs> Then you have to do it. It's right? a project. <laughs> awesome. And it was a fantastic experience. Um, it was, uh, I had many different interesting guests, as you said before we started, you'd love to hear people's stories. Yeah. I truly loved hearing people's stories, and, and that was exciting. Oh, so it was a guest format? So yes. On mm -hmm. the radio? Yep, yep. Okay. You yeah. know, when you first started talking about the exercise, I'm picturing, like, you're trying to get people to do exercises no, over the radio. No, it was like. all interview. <laughs> no, my guests were around the, from nationally and internationally. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, once in a while I, I did a whole show myself. It was an hour show uh, and it ran uh, three times a week. Um, so wow, it was that's a, a lot, lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Oh, learn a great. lot. You always learn a lot from people's stories. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I have learned so much um, from my right. guest um, every, every week. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So the way I think um, I got to know you was through mm -hmm. your essential oil. Yes business mm -hmm. yeah and that and that is a business right yes that's actually the most um, that's really the main part of my business now I I loved the fitness aspect and mm -hmm. I've kind of just moved into a different direction there and using essential oils for both physical and emotional health so yeah. I really have um, loved learning about the oils and there is a very powerful energetic force to oils mm -hmm. uh, so when you think about just even using an oil for your meditation, um, for your spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. There are so many ways that you can use essential yeah. oils with that. 
Yeah. Well, for our audience who aren't familiar mm -hmm. with how that works, can mm -hmm. you just kind of start from the beginning, give us a little sure, a little mini, little essential mini tutorial. Oil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, an essential oil is the aromatic volatile compound of a plant or fruit or flower, uh, bark, and um, it is the part of the plant that protects it. So, if you have a peppermint leaf and you rub it against your, you know, rub it in your hands, mm -hmm. it's going to have a little oily residue on it. But if you look at that, you really can't see that oil sac. It's microscopic. Mm. Um, but the purpose of that oil sac is to protect the plant. So in the way that it protects the plant, it can also protect you as well. Mm. So um, that's really uh, where the, you know, we're going back to nature, basically. They're mm -hmm. becoming increasingly popular right yeah. now. Yeah. But we're really just going back to nature. They've been around for thousands of years. And when right. we inhale an oil, it goes into our limbic system, which is where our emotions and our memories live. Mm -hmm. So when we think about our, um, our spiritual health, our emotional health, it can be a tool that can really help to quiet our mind. It can mm -hmm. help to energize us. It can help to focus us. Mm -hmm. Many different aspects help us. Even things like creating greater self-acceptance or uh, you know something like that you can mm -hmm. use an essential oil to do those kind of things yeah it's amazing it what, is what's what's out there can yeah. you give us some examples of what um, like a particular one and what it's use what it's used for sure oh there's so many I know. Um, what's your well, favorite why don't we start oh, with I, that you know I can't I can't it's there's like not ten, it's what's like your, ten your favorite child you yeah, can't do yeah. it um, <laughs> So um, I think one that is a very sort of co common across the board is wild orange. Wild mm. orange is the oil of abundance. And so it's a great one to diffuse in your home or when you're in your office working on your business and you want to bring in abundance in that way. But mm -hmm. it could be abundance in your heart. Mm -hmm. um, it's a uh, also commonly used for post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm -hmm. So while citruses for a lot of people are very energizing, citruses for some people can be very calming. Mm -hmm. So when someone is in a highly anxious state, um, uh, just taking a, you know, an inhalation of wild orange can quiet them. It quiets the nervous system. Mm -hmm. And so that can really bring you to a yeah, calmer spot. Yeah, you know, I use um, lavender or mm. a lot, yeah. um, and that's that's the effect it has on me. Is yeah. it calming? I, I mainly just yeah. use it when I'm going to sleep at night. Yeah. So interesting about lavender. That's an oil that a lot of people know. They know lavender is a calming well, it's oil. It's a common smell. And too, so a lot yeah. of people will love lavender for mm -hmm. calming, mm -hmm. but it, lavender is the oil of communication. Oh. And so when you're wanting to have, you know, clearer communication, you want to be able to express yourself, but mm -hmm. you also want the other person to be able to hear your message. Mm -hmm. Lavender is a great oil. However, for a small percentage of the population, lavender is not that relaxing. So you will find that people who are highly intuitive, mm -hmm. if they use lavender before bed, they're starting to get those downloads and like all the all the mm -hmm. <laughs> chatter, all the chatter is coming. So occasionally you'll run into a person where it has the opposite effect. So. Yeah, actually it's interesting because I, I, I went to a workshop a couple of weeks ago and that did come up. Yeah. And someone asked, um, they were asking for something um, that would be calming and mm -hmm. would, especially at night, because yeah. I think this yeah. person had, had trouble falling yeah. asleep or something like that. And and something um, came up that lavender is not for everybody. Right. And then she right. mentioned another one that might have been helpful, but I can't remember what it was. Well, there are just so many, and you kind of have to experiment a little bit to just see what is, works for best for you. Mm -hmm. But typically, anything in the tree family, so cedar wood, sandalwood, the firs, like Douglas fir, Siberian mm -hmm. fir, any of the tree oils are very grounding. Because when you think of a tree, you mm -hmm. think of the roots grounding in. Mm -hmm. So uh, anything in that family of oils can be a nice calming oil. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I personally love vetiver for sleep. That's my oh, favorite okay. go-to. Um, and it smells very, it smells like dirt. It took me a little while to kind of oh, become to sure. embrace <laughs> the smell of it. But you can put dirt? it on the bottoms of your feet. And oh, it's very like okay. earthy, it's a very earthy smell. So then what is the, um, 
like we were talking about inhaling it mm -hmm. through either yep. doing it or, an, or through a diffuser. Right. But what about, like you said, the bottom of your feet or mm -hmm. what, how does that work through your, through your um, skin? So um, when you put an essential oil on your skin, it gets into your bloodstream in about 10 seconds. And then it has a collective cellular response in about 30 minutes. So the bottoms of our feet are the most porous part of our body. Really? It's actually the one place that we also lose fat as we age. I don't know where they came up with that idea, but it <laughs> uh, could be somewhere else. Uh, um, so when an oil goes <laughs> onto the bottom of your feet, it just it's going to travel through your whole body because our body is like a watershed, right? There's mm -hmm. always the water is always moving, the fluid is always flowing. Mm -hmm. So it will just, and it can happen really. Quickly. Okay, mm -hmm. so vetiver, anyone yeah, who vetiver. needs to. Yeah, that's a good one. There's so many, uh, you know, call me and ask me. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let you experiment with some. And Yeah, yeah. If, if someone was interested in mm -hmm. experimenting or, mm -hmm. you know, just trying yeah. things out, what, what would you recommend that they do? Um, well, I always recommend people start with um, what I consider the 10 foundational oils. Okay. And basically, they can replace almost anything in your medicine cabinet. So, uh, you know, your basic things to support your respiratory system, to support mm -hmm. your digestive system, okay. to support your muscular and skeletal system, mm -hmm. um, to support your immune system, mm. um, then your basic cut scrapes, kind of things like that. So it's almost mm -hmm. like your little first aid kit. I see. Um, and something like that gives you a lot of tools. Mm. So this way, um, whatever comes up, you can say, well, let's try an oil for that. Before you try something that mm. is, it has maybe more toxins in it or right. chemicals or has other side effects mm -hmm. um, that so we it's don't really, want. It's really the natural way to, yeah. to try, just try stuff. Yeah. So is there like a little kit that comes with t these 10 oils yeah. in it or yeah. something like that? Yeah. They, yeah, I always recommend people start with that instead of, you know, just kind of trying to be overwhelmed by the many choices and assemble I something see. for themselves. Yeah, unless there is a very specific um, condition that they're working with, mm -hmm. I still would recommend the top 10 oils, but then there might be a few that they want to supplement uh, those with if they have some very particular, you know, issues. Yeah, specialty. Yeah. So what, what are the top 10? So the top 10 would be lemon, lavender, and peppermint. Lemon, lavender, peppermint. Yep. Melaleuca, which is your uh, tea tree oil, basically. Oh. Um, oregano, which is your oh. nature's antibiotic, basically. Um, and then four blends that um, the oil, uh, the oils that I work with, DoTerra, mm -hmm. they have, they're the largest essential oil company on the planet. And mm -hmm. They have the most yeah. tested oils. Yeah. So um, they have three blends on guard. Well, they have a lot of blends, but mm -hmm. the, in the top 10, On Guard, Deep Blue, mm -hmm. um, Digest Zen, and Breathe. So those mm -hmm. are your different systems, your immune oh, system, gotcha. yeah. your respiratory system, your muscular system, and your um, digestive system. And then finally, number 10, top of the list, Frankincense. Frankincense is the king of oils. Why? So when in doubt, grab Frank. Just that's the oil. If you don't know what oil to use, it's um, uh, very, very pow powerful on a cellular level. Mm. Can cross the blood-brain barrier. It's just a an oil that. Um, if we were only using one oil every day, that would be the that's one oil that we should do to support our that, health. That's what I chose this morning, and I'm <laughs> perfect. And it's the Not oil sure of why. light and truth. Oh, cool. So you really need to trust your intuition when it comes to choosing oils mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, because if you're drawn to something, go for it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's interesting because um, last night, do you want to talk a little bit about what um, sure. we happened to be doing last night at your house? Yeah. <laughs> so one of the things that is um, important to me in my business and any part of my business is service and giving back. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's why I have... Um, aligned so well with doTERRA because that's really, they have a very large mission. Um, and uh, yesterday we had a gathering at my home to create essential oil roller bl uh, ball blends for the Parkland community. Hmm. So um, a lot of my um, colleagues in the essential oil business originally got into it um, through the Sandy Hook tragedy, hmm. sadly. And the oils have been extremely helpful therefore post-traumatic stress and um, and helping you know in the recovery, recovery. there yeah. and so um, some of those uh, colleagues have um, really been working in Sandy Hook for 
quite some time. Yes, and now are. that we've had this similar situation in Parkland, in uh, Florida, one, in Florida yeah. one of my uh, friends and colleagues was asked to come there and to help in the um, from the clinical side and the trauma efforts. So we prepare these blends and they take them and the, the, you know, the students and the teachers can have this tool mm -hmm. that is um, in addition to the therapy and the other things that they are doing to right. recover. So. Right. Yeah, no, I think that's awesome. Um, yeah, so when you when you put the word out that I you put the word out, doing you this came and you, and you made blends and we filled a whole box. We yeah, did a lot of yeah. a lot of roller blends of balls are heading down there. Yeah, so. and it, and it smelled. Um, I mean, I was sampling it as I yeah. was filling the bottles. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and the orange, I don't think I'd really um, tried that before, yeah. because for some reason I I'm not drawn to citrus. Mm -hmm. I think I have a like a not good system for it mm -hmm. from when I was a child, but it it, it was. You know, yeah. I liked it um, yeah. in the essential oil way. Yeah. You know, not I wasn't drinking orange juice. Yeah. You know. Yeah, definitely different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what were the other components that were in the the blend? Oh, we had a couple of different blends yeah. going on, um, and I don't remember the exact recipes. I know we yeah. had um, lavender were, were in one. those. Yeah. The um, respiratory blend, breathe, breathe, uh, right. marjoram. Okay. And uh, Ylang Ylang, which is the oh, one that we yes. ran out of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, need we need more. <laughs> what is that one um, for? Um, that is also good for just quieting the mind a little bit. It's the oil of your inner child. Um, and so I'm not how sure how that ties into yeah. what the trauma blend well, is. Well, it's an emotional Yeah, an um, emotional situation. Yeah. Sure. Wow. Yeah, so that's, um, she's going to go down there, I think, right after the holidays. Yes. And yep. Deliver that. That's great. So service sounds like it's really um, important to you. What, yes. what else is important to you? Um, what else besides service? Well, yeah. um, family is faith and family. Mm -hmm. um, those are really the top two. And health. Um, mm -hmm. Health is really high up on the list, and it's why I wanted to uh, really transition the focus of my work when I got out of the corporate world mm -hmm. in health. Because um, if we don't have that, Mm -hmm. um, you know, when when you don't have it, you don't realize how much you appreciated it. <laughs> yeah. You know, how yeah. much you didn't really think about it, right? When you're right. feeling good, you don't think about it. And we take it so for granted, much. especially yeah. when we're young. Exactly. <laughs> so, so you know, faith, family, um, health, um, mm -hmm. friends, and service. You know, yeah. I really have a, a high value on community, and so that's another part of any aspect of my business is building mm -hmm. community, mm -hmm. and. Um, an adventure. Adventure. Well, yeah. don't you do a bunch of different workshops and um, things like that? I do like, uh, all kinds you. of workshops. <laughs> and Yeah. So how can people access what you have through your website? Or Yeah. My website is called interplayhealth.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, soon to switch to my name at some point, but you'll still be able to find me through Interplay Health. Uh -huh. And uh, I really like to collaborate with people. Uh, so... Um, I know we met through uh, the TLC networking group oh, right. um, initially, yeah. and um, that is a great um, way to connect with other like-minded people. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I have collaborated with a lot of folks from, from that group and, yeah. and all over, really. I have a lot of different collaborations going on. Yeah. Do you want to say a little bit more about the TLC group for those who are watching? Sure, who don't know about sure. It? It's a networking group for wellness professionals, and I would say the wellness is a broad category. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's financial and you know, decorating, feng shui, and uh, you know, a yes, lot of things. Yes. It, it's a broad scope of wellness, mm -hmm. and um, it was started 20 years ago by mm -hmm. my friend Beth Lees, who I know mm -hmm. has been a guest on your show. Yes, we do. Um, and um, you know, she's a connector also, and um, totally. that, that's something that she and I, she's a dear friend of mine, but um, one, our, you know, we share that mission of really trying to bring people together. Mm -hmm. So have you known her for 20 years since the... No, I haven't known her since no. the beginning of that, no, but, okay. but probably um, probably 10 years. Probably well, that's now. a long time. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, I'm new to it. I yeah. feel like I'm still one of the newbies, mm -hmm. but, but um, there's a lot of good things that they offer, and it's, oh, yeah. and it's really open to anybody. Oh, yeah. To come, come and join us. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. Anybody can come for free and just see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you also seem to do a lot of um, 
like events. You know, I don't know why. I think I've seen more lately, yes. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I'm out there. I do a lot of speaking. Uh -huh. um, so just getting the message out on, you know, feeling good in your body. Um, I mm -hmm. went through a time where I was not feeling so good in my body, and mm -hmm. I just knew that uh, there were a lot of other people who kind of forgot what it feels like to, to feel that. So mm. um, I was, spoke recently at a pain management conference and um, mm. the um, Open Center in New York where they mm -hmm. do a lot of holistic yeah. events. And so um, speaking is um, one of the ways that I like to really share the message. Yeah, well, it sounds like you have a lot um, to offer in many ways. So it's, it's the physical health, but it's also the mind, the body, the spirit, everything it's all connected. Yeah, it, you have to look at it as a holistic experience. Mm -hmm. One part, um, you know, the only focusing on one part is going to put you out of alignment in some way. You know, it's a whole, the whole mm -hmm. body, mind, body, and soul. Mm -hmm. And it, you really have to look at it like that. Is that what intrigued you originally about the essential oil um, um, world, so to speak? <laughs> yeah, that is one of the things once I began uh, learning about them mm -hmm. that was interesting to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it just it seems like it can go in so many different directions too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, um, so you would recommend that people start by just experimenting with this 10? Yeah. And then what else in terms of... Um, health, um, holistic health, would mm -hmm. you, like for people who are just searching or they're not sure what, what, it, what it's all about, is there something As, else? That, in terms of oils? In gen, or well, I think just in general, um, just being healthy and mm -hmm. a lifestyle. Um, well, I always look at it um, in sort of two components. There's the internal and there's the external. Mm -hmm. So the internal, and, and these are topics that I speak a lot on mm -hmm. and write a lot on, the internal to me is your mindset and your energy. Mm -hmm. And those are the things that you need to really um, nourish and cultivate on a daily basis. It takes mm -hmm. daily effort to really work with your mindset and be in a positive frame of mind. And also to um, work with your energy, cultivate your energy, but also protect your energy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not about putting more energy out into the world. It's sometimes getting quiet and protecting your energy and having those boundaries. Mm -hmm. And then I think mm -hmm. there's also the external aspect, which is your time and your environment. Mm -hmm. So those are the things, how we spend our time. And then what is our environment like? Who are we surrounding ourselves with? Are we surrounding ourselves mm -hmm. with people like our colleagues at the TLC network? Mm -hmm. Are we surrounding ourselves with um, people who yeah. want to come and make roller balls to, for right. a good cause? Well, and, and how are we spending point. our time? And so I, we're I really, going to have to wrap up, yeah. but um, I really like the way you, you characterize that. Yeah. Thank you so much for you're coming so on. It's great to hear all about what you're doing, and I can't wait to hear the next chapter and what's coming <laughs> <Me> too. <next. laughs> so thank you, Kristen, and thank, thank you, you, everyone, for joining us tonight. And we hope to see you soon on the next episode of Spiritual Connection. Blessings. Good night. Yeah, so that, that went fast, didn't it? It went fast. <laughs>